Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. We're back on the, well we're back in the 484 and we're on the Bakerloo line because we are in a, another Creators Club livery which will be below. We're in the D78 stock 484 thingy train. Um, so yeah, you can see we've already got, this was literally, it's only been 4 hours or 4 or 5 hours now and there's already liveries like this out which is great. Um, and you can see we've got the... Um, London Underground livery, which is pretty cool. Let's get the train set up. Uh, obviously, the train was never this modern <laughs> as this train. Obviously, 1978. Um, yeah, it, it wouldn't be like as it is nowadays in the cab. So just imagine it being slightly older looking. If you watched my World of Subways free videos, it would be something like that. Um, not like I mean, in fact, uh, I believe the 78 stock is literally the same control desk as uh, what the 72 stock has which we have on this game so just imagine that desk in front of me now with a square window that was pretty much how it was so it's slightly uh slightly modern a slight channel here's my smudge right come on you're gonna have to go around right let's get going i can't really see the screen at the moment but let's go holster next oh, there's a nice comfy chair there not on the keyboard, not on the keyboard, lovely. Off we go. Much better acceleration as well. Imagine that knee's on the district line. Probably better performing than the bloody S stock, or S7, S8, whatever it is. There's another one. Look at that, brilliant. Love it. And let's get that up to 45. So we're going up to Harrow and Wildstone. There we go. Cool. And yeah, I'll leave this in the description below if you do want to try this one out as well. That was pretty cool though, we'll come over and give it a go. See, these actually never ran on this line, so it's a bit sort of unrealistic, but I mean, it's the only underground line we have. So, what choice did I have? Plus, it does actually, well, on this sort of overground bit, it actually looks alright. Because you wouldn't be able to run this through the tunnels, so that would be weird. Very weird. You wouldn't have a roof. Because the brakes on the 78s that were probably actually better than how they are on this. The brakes are um, okay. And here we are. Welcome to Halston. That. Yeah, screenshot. Cool, so I'm guessing this 484 bit stays within the livery designer. So I know so we had it on the SWR livery as well, didn't we? So I'm guessing that number does stay a bit like on the uh, 483, where sort of the number can't be changed. It just, well, it, it, yeah, it can't be done over. Oh, I should have put the lights on as well. Sorry, passengers. Saving electric. Probably be cooler with the lights off, though. Especially, I mean, this is at like, the hottest day of the year. Hottest day on record in the UK. So, it's warm. I doubt many people would be out anyway. This would be like an oven. All of this uh, all heated up. I wonder if the whistle is original, though. I wonder if the whistle was retained from the actual 78s. Let's get a couple more screenshots. As you do. Full whack. Already at 45 pretty much. Acceleration just isn't an issue on this train. Stonebridge Park is our next stop. Should see another train at some point. I love the whine of the motors though. That is nice. I see another difference. 78 stop would have ran on full throw. I mean, what would actually happen if you ran an underground train on third rail? I suppose it, yeah, it just wouldn't work, would it? There's London Overground run along here on third rail, but they obviously don't have full throw. So I don't know. 
It's not like a separate third rail for them. Because I think what the third rail gives you the power, and then the fourth rail gets rid of the power, I think. So I don't know, I wonder how they work it on this line then. I suppose yeah, the three seven eights can't use four throw, can they? So it's had to be sort of built differently. There we are. Stonebridge Park. It's alright though, doesn't it? Cool. Yeah, it's two units we've got. Although I think realistically they were four, weren't they? Obviously when they are D78s. So it sort of does look right. Let's ignore the cab in the middle. Cool. Well, our next station stop is Wembley Central. Wembley Central. Yeah, I went on the D78s a few times actually when I was up in London uh, a few years back. Nice trains. Obviously slightly sort of different because they had the single leaf doors. Uh, although in a way, cool. Right, now watch this acceleration. Ready? Full throttle. Look how fast this accelerates. Might be getting a bit of wheel slip. Oh, and I wonder if it smart sparks on this route. No. Off we go. Look how fast it goes. Already at 45. And one for a 40. Pop that down. fun scenario. This is actually just one of those scenarios I've created quickly. So I doubt I'll publish this to the Creators Club as it but this was just a quick place train there, make it go there, place train there, make it go there. So I found it easily recreatable as well. Wembley Central. I was going to say I'll come in at 40 miles an hour, see if we come to a stop, but no, I don't think that would. Uh, I don't think that would be achievable. <laughs> I'd be very surprised. Here we are, though. Welcome to Wembley Central. Here we are. And after this, you've got North Wembley. Yeah, I wonder if the whistle is the original whistle, though. I'm going to have a look, 78 stop, whereabouts was the whistle on them? Uh, or 78 stop, 78 stop, uh, underground, London. Let's have a look. Uh, no, the whistle was in the same place. Yeah, so it might actually be the original whistle they've just kept in there. I mean, fair enough, I mean, see, give it a clean over and it'll probably be just as good as new. Get the door shut. So open the windows as well. Brilliant. But yeah, do sign into Dovetail Live and do have a look at the Creators Club. There is some brilliant creations on there. Off we go. Oh, 
up to 45 again, which 45 is just not an issue, I and mean, we're already up to 45 already. North Wembley next. I suppose this is what the S stock or the F7, S7 and S8 stocks would be like. Straight up. There's another train over there. That's all we're driving it on here, but it sort of feels right at the same time. So the brakes below five miles an hour looks like godly. I didn't come off like that. Nope. numbers as well. 7832. The details haven't been missed. And then it is South Kenton next, and Kenton, and then finally Harrow and Woodstone. No, I wish you could set how long the scenario plan of dual loading instruction is. It takes ages. Must be inside the train. Look how fast it goes. Here we go. Pretend we're sitting here. A bit lower there. We're off. South Kenton next. Window opens quite warm in it. There we go. Love it. Probably already at 45. In fact, yeah, we're I mean, the top speed is supposed to be 45, and we just went up to 55, which is a little bit naughty, but it's fun. and then Harrow and Wallstone. All relatively close together. Won't take long to get to either in this train. And these trains actually do operate on the UK mainland. Uh, I think these on the mainland come under as class 230s. Which operate in Wales, uh, in the Midlands as well. Yeah, but if they are class 230s um, on the mainland. So I don't know why they are 484s on. I suppose that has to be a little bit different. They've got very similar liveries as well. That's the thing. The front is like very similar on the LNWR ones. But yeah, do have a look. Do look at class 230. It's quite cool to see. And they are literally the same as this, but... Uh, slightly different. Actually, I think they're three coaches as well. Possibly three coaches long. Let's get the doors shut. Whereas these are two. So, slightly different. Let's go. Kenton next. Full whack on the throttle. As we are the underground. No time for uh, mucking around. We are off. There's quite a few on there. I'm just having a little look through now. Tons of companies are getting them. Transport for Wales on there. I can see. Oh, I don't know who that is. I oh, know that is Transport for Wales. Yeah, pretty cool. Look how fast it goes up though. So quick. Not 
far to Kenton, there's the Metropolitan Line and also the Chilton Main Line there above us. I think it is the same model as North Wembley. Very similar. That'll do. Doors open. Oh, look at that satisfying sound of that. And you've got the guard panel if you want to control it from the guard panel, which is over here. If you really wanted to. Yeah. Let's get the other one shut. No, it'll just be the guard door to shut, which will be much quicker. Hopefully, it doesn't say unlock doors. No? Still got this one open, so it's happy. Everyone on this single door. You're all getting in here. Otherwise, you miss the train. Do that, and remember to lock it, as I always forget. Harrow and Wardstone next. Three people. Oh, that was quick. It was quick. And once it gets above 20, it's just like... Psh, full speed ahead. stock might have even been on the 484 and hopefully when this video goes out I would have been on the 484 yesterday or a couple of days before Which hopefully it would have been good Slam the brakes on a little brake test. They're okay ish, they're okay ish. No, do you want to stop there? Ah, oh, we can stop there. I just want to test the brakes, see how good they were. But they're alright when you put them into emergency. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's Train Sim World video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. That was a little look at another, well, another livery from the Creators Club. This is one. I'll leave a link below. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can also be found in the description to Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.